All right, here's another video. Uh, I'm going to be working on my 1996 Alfa Romeo Spider. I imported this from Japan about uh, 10 years ago. And um, last year I did the timing belt, balancer belt, cam variator on it. And um, I also did the new uh, soft top on the, on the car. Um, it's a fun little two seater. Uh, it's a little, it's a blaster drive. Um, this year, the seats are in need of uh, a lot of work. A lot of cracking and um, finish on them is not very good. So we're going to be doing um, a leather uh, kit on the seats. I'll talk to that a little bit more. All right, so we're going to take this car out of the garage. We're going to go wash it. And um, I'm going to be removing the front seats and taking those out and going through the process of um, doing the leather restoration on it. I got a really nice kit from it. We'll uh, leave the, let the details in the description. All right, so the battery is totally dead here. We came to start it to move it out. Um, battery is in behind the back seat. There's a little cubby hole back there and we got the battery back in there. So we'll let that uh, charge up for a little bit and then we'll get it out of the garage. So here's the uh, little Alfa Romeo engine. It's a 16 valve twin spark, two spark plugs per cylinder. Um, had to order a special kit to lock down the cams to do the timing belt over here and bouncer belt. And uh, I've got a squeaky um, air conditioner compressor bearing there. So I'm gonna have to be pulling that here too. It's kind of annoying. All right, the battery's charged up enough here. I think we can get it started. We'll do a cold start here. Real cold start, because it's been all winter We're sitting here. Alright, we're going to take the uh, seat out. I'm going to take both seats out to do the leather repair. So we got a uh, six millimeter hex bolt there, so we'll take those both out. Here's the uh, seat outside. Yeah. Really bad cracking here. Finish is pretty rough. Side bolsters there. Got a little bit of work to do on the seats here. All right. Um, I ordered from Seat Doctors. Uh, Andy at SeatDoctors.com. I wasn't sure if I could get uh, the right color dye for it, but uh, not too long. I uh, got a reply back saying that, yeah, we got your color and uh, we'll ship it off to you. So I ordered ordered a bigger bottle so I could do both seats and then the door cards for it. Um, but Seat Doctors um, gave a lot of instructions there online and um, I got the leather dye and, the, and I also bought some leather crack filler. What they recommend is using a cleaner and uh, and I'm going to use, they said also you can use isopropyl alcohol a little bit after. Um, don't use a cleaner conditioner because that will add more uh, stuff to the waxes and things like that to the leather. You don't want that when you're going to be dyeing it. So I just bought uh, a Simon's uh, leather cleaner here. And it's just a cleaner. So we're going to clean the soak it, the seats and then rub it clean. 
and uh, then I'll go over it with some isopropyl alcohol mixed 50 50 with water.
garage here. Uh, it's a little too windy out today. And uh, so I'm just gonna take off a couple little bits here that uh, get in the way of painting. So we've got the seat belt strap holder here. I'm just gonna pop this off. All right, we've got the uh, seat cleaned up pretty good. So now what I'm gonna do is take a fine grit uh, sandpaper here and uh, sand off the high spots. Then we'll do some filling. I'll wipe it down and clean it again, use the isopropyl alcohol, and then we'll, uh, then we'll uh, fill the spots. Taking a lot of the smooth, smoothed out all the rough high spots on the leather. I'm just gonna lightly wipe it down a bit here, and then we'll get some isopropyl alcohol. Now I didn't actually sand the sides, bolsters here, the headrest around the back because that's that's vinyl only part on the seat here and uh, probably with a lot of seats is uh, the center section is, is leather. The only part that's is leather. Bad. There's a few spots here and here and a couple little cracks. Other than that, there's um, it's pretty good. So I'm just gonna take some of the filler.
seat all cleaned up, uh, filled, and sanded and uh, wiped down. We're going to use this Preval spray system. Never used it before, but uh, looks pretty good. Good. It was recommended um, by seat doctors here. We're going to put it in the bottle and uh, spray it on here. See how it goes. We got we got uh, one coat here on the uh, passenger seat, and you notice the cracking on the sides and the bolsters. The filler has done an awesome job. Decided to go ahead and just spray over top of that. It was uh, too dark underneath. We gone back to the original color. If you notice the the seat has been dyed. Now it matches the uh, door cards, so I won't need to spray the door cards, but looks like a brand new seat now. Just another little coat of, uh, of dye on that and we're, we're good to go. So the uh, driver's seat here is a little more beat up. We're gonna have to do some, some repair down here and uh, do some sanding and filling again and make it look like new.
thanks for watching the video we'll have more to come make sure you like and subscribe uh, it was a great little project a lot of fun to do uh, the seats look great and i'm really pleased with the, uh, the end product so give it a try turns out great takes a little bit of time and patience but uh, well worth it in the end